Hi, it's Evelyn. Thanks so much for tuning in to my channel. I truly appreciate it. I'm back to show you how I make stinging nettle infused hair oil. And this is the stinging nettle leaf that I use. Stinging nettle leaf is packed with calcium, iron, silica. Stinging nettle is known to block DHT, which is a hormone that causes hair loss in both men and women. You all know that I have suffered from hair loss. I've been very transparent here on YouTube, sharing my highs and my lows with you in regards to losing my hair and regrowing my hair. The main thing for me is stopping my hair from falling out and stinging nettle help with that. I have come up with concoctions which is my all-time favorite. I have made stinging nettle hair mask, stinging nettle scalp tonic, and now I make my own stinging nettle hair growth oil which I infuse with other essential oils to make the greatest hair growth oil possible. So I want to share with you how I take stinging nettle leaf and infuse it and make an oil with it. I use my infused stinging nettle for hot oil treatment. Of course, I've made my hair growth oil, which my hair is growing, is full, is thick. I absolutely love stinging nettle leaf as well as the powder, and I have been using them both for well over a good year now. If you are suffering from some form of hair loss, thinning, excessive shedding, incorporate stinging nettle into your hair care regimen. It truly will help stop your hair from falling out. I say this over and over, I'm no doctor, I'm not on here um, saying that I have the, cur the cure to um, hair loss as well as hair growth, but I stand firmly on stinging nettle because stinging nettle has worked for me. I no longer have hair loss on the top of my head. I have regrown my hair. My hair is flourishing, truly flourishing. It's healthy. My scalp is healthy. That's the key, a healthy, healthy, healthy scalp. I cannot stress that enough. So with a healthy uh, scalp, you will have healthy hair growth. And maintaining the health of your hair is very important as well. But I want to show you how I have infused and made my own stinging nettle hair oil. I hope you enjoy this video. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and I will definitely reply to you. I may not reply right away. I always give a heart to let you know that I have read your comment. I appreciate your comment and I will reply with, I will reply within a timely manner. So here is how to infuse stinging nettle and make your own stinging nettle oil. Okay, let's get started with making your own stinging nettle oil for healthy hair growth. Now, this is the nettle that I use. This is 100%, this is organic nettle leaf and uh, it is certified organic. This is, to, um, this is pure olive oil and this is 100% pure olive oil. And I, I made this olive oil this month of January. So um, I'm going to show you how I infuse my stinging nettle oil. I have put in two one-third cups of stinging nettle, but I'm going to add a third, one more, one-third cup of nettle leaf. So I add three one-third cups of stinging nettle leaf. Now I'm going to add my pure olive oil. You want to make sure the, the leaf is completely covered in oil. You do not want any leaf uncovered. If the leaves are uncovered in the oil, mold will definitely grow. 
So I'm going to fully cover the entire jar of leaf. Next, what you want to do, you want to stir it to get all the air bubbles out of it because you don't want any air bubbles in your oil. The olive oil is a very light green, but after a month or so, it will turn a rich, deep green color. The leaves have fully uh, infused in the oil, and all of the benefits of the stinging nettle will release into the oil. And then you put on your lid, make sure it's nice and airtight. And every single, well, every other day, I will open it up to release any gases, um, bubbles, stir it around. And also, you want to smell it to make sure that it didn't go rancid. You don't have any foul odor or anything. But to avoid any mold, mildew, or bacteria from growing, you definitely want to make sure that your jar is clean, sterilized, and thoroughly dry. Not a drip or a hint of water or mist or dew in your uh, jar, as well as the lid. Make sure the lid is completely dry around the rim. Then next, what you want to do is date it, January 2019. As a matter of fact, it is, today's date is July 3rd, January 13th. So, it is January 13th that I put on the bottle. Now, what I want to show you, like I said, here is another jar of nettle that I infuse this month. And as you can see, it's still um, lightly green, has a light green tint to it. But after several months, I want to show you this stinging nettle oil here. I infuse back in May of 2018. I refresh it every two to three months because I want the nettle oil uh, as strong as possible to make my hair growth oil. And so you can see how vibrant the color is compared to my freshly made stinging, my freshly made stinging nettle oils. So you can see this light green here compared to how dark and rich this color is of stinging nettle. So this is how you infuse stinging nettle oil um, for hair growth. And what I do to make my stinging nettle hair growth oil, I take some of the oil out and I mix it with key essential oils that will help stimulate your follicles, heal your follicles, and promote healthy hair growth. So this completes my video on how to make stinging nettle oil, how to infuse stinging nettle oil, and I hope you truly enjoyed this video. I want to thank you so much for watching and subscribing to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.